Welcome back everybody, Andy Curtis filling in for Melissa Jensen tonight. Well, next year marks the 10th anniversary of the legislation that created the Pacific Northwest Trail. The trail is a sprawling and still developing route connecting Glacier National Park and the Olympic National Park on the Washington coast. But the Montana section of the trail is becoming a source of debate. The PNT, as it's commonly known, was first conceived in the 1970s. However, it wasn't formalized until President Barack Obama signed legislation in 2009. But as debate heats up over protecting grizzlies in the Northwest, and Northwest Montana especially, so is the dispute over the trail's route through the Kootenai and the Yak. Currently, the trail crosses Lake Kukanusa and then uses a combination of trails and forest roads hugging the Canadian border until it passes into Idaho. The Yak Forestry Council is working to build support for an alternate route running down the Fisher River, cutting over the shoulder of the Cabinet Mountains near Libby and Troy. Oh, well, there's so many uh, uh, concerns about a northern route. You know, they just drew a, a line on it and, and didn't really feel truth it. Uh, but that's what we started doing once we found out about it three years ago. Uh, quite simply, my main concern is, is grizzlies. I mean, I know there's a lot of hiker concerns and so forth, but the population in the Yak is down to about 25 grizzlies uh, to the north of here, about 25 grizzlies on the other side of the river in the cabinet. Saw. Bass and others are continuing to advocate the alternate route as not only better for bears and hikers, but better for the northwest Montana economy.